Of all the great baseball players who've played in the Scranton area, many experts would say the greatest of them all never played in the major leagues. His name is Leon Day, a devastating right-handed Hall of Fame pitcher whose story is as celebrated as it is sad. A monumental talent who never got to see the show because of the color of his skin. The year was 1952, and an aging Leon Day took the field for the Scranton Miners, a St. Louis Browns affiliate playing at Scranton Stadium in Dunmore. Day had already logged in 14 seasons, mainly with the Negro Leagues, and he was hoping for a crack at the show some five years after Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier, but it wasn't meant to be. For some, it just came too late. He lost three years serving his country in that regard, too. But I think if there was any opportunity for him to play, he was going to be there and to do so. And Day was ready and willing to play just about anywhere. Stints with the Baltimore Black Sox, Brooklyn Eagles, Newark Eagles, and winter ball in Puerto Rico led him to northeastern Pennsylvania. And the stats don't lie. Day was considered by some to be a better pitcher than the great Satchel Paige. In fact, in head-to-head -head competition, Day won three out of four games. Day was a good hitter, too. In 1937, he hit over 300 with a perfect 13-0 pitching record. He also played every position except catcher, and he did all of it while battling systemic racism. Remember, they couldn't stay in the hotel. They had their own buses. They had their own dry cleaners, their own banks. You think about that sort of atmosphere and the results that were produced. It's just phenomenal. But Scranton embraced Leon Day's talent. Newspaper accounts show his arrival in the Electric City was a big deal. From the articles that I found, this gentleman was very celebrated among sports fans and among the community in general. They're getting heavy coverage in the papers, like not only the days after the games, but also the days before the games leading up to it. And Leon Day is a big part of that, too. It was almost like he was a feature uh, for people to come out to see. Local baseball historian Nicholas Petula believes Day relished the job in Scranton despite the Browns' reputation as a bad franchise. You were the St. Louis Browns. To people who followed the game, Day was one of the greats. Even if I'm hooking up with a team like the St. Louis Browns, who were considered a joke even at that time in the major leagues, you know. Maybe something can happen for me. Maybe I can, you know, catch some lightning. But I think the real baseball people at that time, I think they recognized that this was a, a superstar that had been denied. A ruling in December by Major League Baseball reclassifies Negro Leagues to be considered the Major Leagues, meaning Day is now a Major Leaguer. MLB will now evaluate Negro League stats and determine which will be included in MLB's historical numbers. Day died in 1995, again just days after finding out he was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. If you want to find out more about Leon Day, Go to PAHomepage.com. There you will find a link to the Leon Day Foundation, which helps get inner city youth involved with baseball.